Hi, this is Kevin Brocious again. I'd like to take a couple of minutes to speak with you about some of the risks associated with bond investing. Unfortunately, there is a common notion among some investors that all U.S. government bonds have no risk. While U.S. government bonds have no default or call risk, they do share a common risk with all other bonds, and that is interest rate risk. Interest rate risk is the possibility that interest rates will change and thereby change the required return and bond value. For example, suppose you purchased a five-year $1,000 bond today that is paying a 5% rate of interest. If interest rates for the same bond increase to 6% tomorrow, your bond will no longer have a market value of $1,000. If you choose to sell it, you will receive something less than your purchase price. Conversely, if interest rates for the same type of bond decrease to 4% tomorrow, your bond will be worth more than $1,000. So there is an inverse relationship between interest rates and all bond prices. As interest rates increase, price of existing bonds decrease and vice versa. The longer the bond maturity, the greater the interest rate risk will be. Bonds with 30-year maturities have a much higher degree of interest rate risk than bonds with a 3-year maturity. That is why longer-term bonds pay a higher rate of interest. Also, bonds with low or no coupon payments, like zero coupon bonds, have a higher interest rate risk than bonds that pay periodic interest. Bond interest rate risk is best measured using a concept known as duration. Duration measures the percentage change in the price of a bond that can be expected given a percentage change in the yield of the bond. All bonds and all bond funds have a duration. How does duration work? Suppose you own a bond fund that with a duration of three and interest rates increase 1%. The value of the fund will decrease by about 3%. So if you invested $1,000 in this fund, your investment will now be worth about $970. All bond funds will have their duration listed in their brochures. And duration can be a helpful way to assess the interest rate risk of your bond investments. Make sure you educate yourself about all the risks associated with an investment before you make that investment. And remember, risk and reward are always linked. If a fund is paying a higher rate of interest, it will also carry a greater risk. This is Kevin Brocious. Thanks for listening.